the LPS Classic Beyond once again in different locations again. Sleeping, I can't do it. Well, not sleeping. Yeah. Phew, we might do it. But point is, um, <laughs> um, something. Okay, the point is this week we have In the Loop, written by Emmy Larkin with story by the people. No, in so in this episode. The day camp is evicted by a groundhog named Harold, who is kind of annoying because he's always bouncing off his back while getting them wrong most of the time, which really like really ruffle, especially when they all basically idolize Harold. And he thinks the day is over, but but he finds himself repeating the day over and over again because he finds himself in a groundhog day loop with an actual groundhog. Really ironic. And now he got to find a way to get out of this. If I mean Okay, yeah, I have to get that song out of the way. I have to get that out of the way. So, yeah, the actual episode. So, you can get the same whatever show Doug filed go from the actual because of 13 odd. But then you remember the little girl who would magically be able to talk to pets? I and mean, even if we now have a bit of application for it, it's still out there. So, it's fine to have a little natural there every once in a while. And this guy's gonna especially because it's like. You know, who knows if any of that actually happened, you know? It, I don't know, it's hard it's easier to believe Colin P. Again, because it's like, you know, that's no relation to this one, though. Well, get God, <laughs> that Russell needed to, you know. And, you know, at first, I knew I had going to do the full board, because they make a show out of the full board. They have to start off with a flashback to Russell for Dry, which I don't know if we needed, but it was really cool to get. Everyone there younger, especially Trump, I <laughs> and you know, to get a great from that way. <laughs> and they make it, and the flash look really cool, and they make a deal out of the forward thing. And I figured, okay, that forward can factor into it. And when he fix it, I'm like, okay, that's the end of it. No, forward factor into it, but more like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but, really, it, it, how come a Petro never bothered to have that thing fit? I mean, they often be the only person who got hurt on that thing. But anyway, back to the episode in general. I definitely like this couple good groundhog they do. But I, what I love about this couple good is that it's an actual groundhog and he's named Harold. I can Harold Raymond. I'm hearing that he kind of, not that long before the episode aired, I think it kind of would make a tribute. Again, we probably live with that written. They came up with it. So we got, I like a good groundhog they do story. And this one put off pretty well. It's not perfect, I'd say, but it's still pretty good. I believe my problem comes with. Well, in these four of plots, I think I don't quite need a senior day, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. We're working with the noise, but I don't get angry with them. That's a good tribe of friends who will really love him. Because, because he does, I mean, come back to I think he would have to, you know, it, to to be fair, he and he, like a piece, I don't know how to take this, but, you know, they don't have everything all right and kind of become perfect when it comes to Harold. Like, but he's like a nice, he's like a pretty nice guy, you know, and he, I, in general I like him, you know, he has a funny line, and, you know, a pure nude of the voice, because, he, I don't know, I can do all these crazy voices now, it's, it's cool. but, you know, it's really cool, and it's a full character, and they're mostly good, and again, the name, he can go off, but, um, again, they make him a cool bit, too vilified in some way because he right well, really kind of annoying a bit of a know it all a know it all who knows nothing <laughs> uh, you know that's just, but you know but on, at the same time yeah really kind of that nice guy and it's more rough and white all right because it's much fact you know you feel it's not like a well known fact like not everyone knows about or tension out or whatever. The only one I actually knew was a Carpe Diem Latin thing, I think you're gonna get. <laughs> Never sure who I did the. No, I can't kind of tickle my head, thank you. Fine God, Apple, whatever. Speaking of song, Dan Cookie you know, again come back. And what's funny that Balcony and Russell's first episode, and in the last episode, he get again, this time featuring Russell, which was a little fun. Um, but. The problem I have is sort of like a minor because it, cause I can't be, some people can get like a cruel kind drunk of in the first down, the second and a half when he starts to use the opportunity to get intense about that's when he gets a lot better. Russell starts like going insane 
Father get a really funny bit to watch go rock. Yeah. Toko dropped not a ton of them here, but yeah, you know, more of the entertainment value of Ruffle and Craig and Harold at you know you know, that make it fun. And uh the one the another thing I don't like is that the ending is kinda cruel because you know, with uh like the danger of like parakeet person coming in or whatever. That like, that was again, again like slight slightly cool. But you know, a minor joke and a kind of amusing Ruckle reaction. Ruckle is the star here. Why well, is the comporting? She gets all the She basically talked to Ruckle. Uh, that was one joke I love. It's like, a Ruckle tells her that he can get a ground up. They loop and she goes, like a little craggy. And he can't, she can't do a head wrong. <laughs> I like that. But I do like that. But I like the comporting with one of the pets being a main character. Because Ruckle, I think he'll go in and try to go the plot this time. Because he is. He's very likable, and he got and he can be a fun, you know, all fun in general. And you know, again, the highlight is really you didn't know the pet better, and really just Brian O'Reilly and getting to know Vinny Dan. <coughs> and going hanging, sorry. And you know, interesting. Well, I do wonder how long you came out loop. You know, like, what do I like that free thing? Go, so, yeah, we free ain't going to anyone else. We can get in that loop. Speaking of that loop, I like how every loop starts off with that dad and the kid walking by. You gotta feel bad for him, because, like, at least free dang gets tripped by all the time. You're gonna know it. But, um. But, yeah. Looking up, definitely interesting take on the one other loop on it. With Rock One, learning that. You know, maybe you should get to know him before you write them off. Cause he immediately started correcting him or whatever. But if he had, you know, now shut, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, I don't know how you could relate to that, but definitely next more about it. You should get to know him before you make assumptions or whatever. And again, Homo can talk on getting to know. <laughs> I don't know that. No, but not rough. Um. But yeah, we can pretty good episode, I think. In spite of the fact from the writing issue with Wearing Herald, it's, you know, it's fun. It got good scene development. Ruffle got a nice moral, got good scene theme, and it's a really cool plot for them to do in the first place. And again, and if it's going to be a episode, then you went on a pretty good one. Um, as far as, um, yep, can go, they're going to be, yeah, oh, um, the other two, I, I, yeah, yeah think that. Tiara, but he hasn't done that many of them to be on with, so it's like, only a few, but like, one well, good one. So, yeah, it's good. Um, <laughs> feel like I'm the jumbled guy, because when Vodkum can kind of, like, blow around, I'm not as sure about everything in the cup of code, but it's a good one. Uh, not great, because again, one thing could have been better, but it's a pretty entertaining cup of code, and it's interesting to keep and do with plot. Yeah, I like the brand I do the plot, and I love the homage, so, yeah, a good episode, um, again, the film's kind of on the mission kind, I apologize, I get a doggy biscuit one, welcome as well, but, the only mark one, again, the vlog, it depends on how I feel about the episode, and how sure I am, because when I'm sure what I'm gonna say, you know, can't be what I want, then I can be really clear and good, like, I will give a themed one, but if, like, with doggy biscuit, I'm kind of like, eh, then, I'm gonna be a good, and that's one more working on good, but that's gonna become boring. But hopefully, next week I can speak up a lot better, and well, that I'm not like you're tired, just like, you know. But anyway, let's pick out next week. Okay. Sorry about this one being another one, a weird one. There's a lot of elements to look up, going to compose. I really hard to articulate exactly what it done right and wrong, you know, pretty easy to tell. But pick up next one. Seventeen. I know what that one is. Yep, helicopter dad. Oh boy, that one, that that one. Hopefully, be the one that'll give me more to talk about. So I got call from you next week for. I'll cut her down while I get to talk extensively about Ryan Rogers' event. Hopefully. <laughs> See you then. So I can get to the thing. There.